Hello everyone. Today the topic of discussion will be a condition known as a very painful condition but still yet confused, not diagnosed. At the same time, many a times we see that this condition is often very lately diagnosed. So let us talk about the condition known as adenomyosis. So what is adenomyosis? Normally, this is the uterus. We have three layers in the uterus. That is the inner layer, the middle layer and the outer layer. So the inner layer is the one which is actually active. So every month, most of the women who are having menstrual cycle, we have this cycle because of the activity of this endometrium, which has endometrial glands inside. So in condition where this active glands, which is actually inside the uterus, enters the wall of the myometrium, that is called as a muscle wall of the uterus, then the glands are still active there. And this is the condition wherein this active gland starts bleeding inside and this will cause a severe painful menstrual cycle and this condition is called as adenomyosis. So adenomyosis, is it so scary or we should know about it? Definitely yes, we should be aware of these conditions because by the time it is clinically presented, it is often quite late or patient is having too much of symptoms, suffering wherein they would have tried all methods of treatment and would have failed there. After knowing what is adenomyosis, let us understand why adenomyosis occurs or which are the patients who are at risk for adenomyosis. So normally, if any women are having any history of repeated DNCs or cesarean section or previous history of any myomectomy, that is the removal of the fibroids or there is history of endometriosis sometimes, the active inner layer of the glands will enter the wall of the muscles and there they become active and there is a bleeding happening in the muscle wall. So these are certain few risk factors which we have to keep it in mind. So if adenomyosis is there, what are the symptoms they generally come up with? Adenomyosis is a condition where always hidden, confused and not diagnosed on time. The very painful situations of adenomyosis is that they come with a painful periods. Progressive. Every month, a couple of months and years, the pain becomes so severe that in spite of taking a good pain relieving agents, the pain will not come down. Few of the patients will come with heavy bleeding, cyclical bleeding or shorter cycle bleeding with passage of clots. Few of the women will come with chronic pelvic pain. That is, even after the periods or pre-periods, they will have persisting low back pain and this results in a very change in their routine lifestyle. And this painful periods goes to certain extent that if the adenomyoma has spread the entire uterine wall, that is called as diffuse adenomyosis, this condition becomes a very painful condition altering their lifestyle. So much so that the routine activity for them like cooking, walking or doing their household activity or even their office work becomes very very difficult. Is adenomyotic so serious that should we get it screened every time? Often many conditions uh, like adenomyosis may be asymptomatic. It's not like every patient of adenomyosis will come with symptoms. Few of them will not even realize that they are having adenomyosis. And usually we see when a woman is around 40 plus or earlier in a patient with endometriosis. And as I told you already the risk factors, these are the patients who often land up with early symptoms of adenomyosis. Now when we have a symptoms of adenomyosis, it is very important for us to at least realize to give an attention to the symptoms and get your treatment accordingly. So do we diagnose adenomyosis? How do we diagnose adenomyosis? So commonly whenever a woman comes with a cyclical bleeding or a painful period, most of the time we take it as a natural phenomenon. But when the same pain intensity becomes progressive, non-bearable, continuous and not responding to medical therapy, this is not normal. Such patients require an immediate attention with a basic pelvic scan. Ultrasound sonography, especially transvaginal ultrasound is a one basic scan which we do to diagnose this condition. And often this condition is confused or misdiagnosed with a condition known as fibroid uterus because both of them have a similarity of the features. But again, in both these conditions, adenomyosis is a very painful period associated, very less chances in a case of fibroid uterus. 
there are other few characteristics if you have a very good uh, ultrasound machine and the sonologist is really good at picking up this finding they can pick up very early changes by ultrasound itself but sometimes when this cannot be achieved and still your painful period is continuing we may require an mri pelvis to diagnose this condition